I actually think it's really ironic that the last couple videos I have filmed sitting down like with my face <laughs> I have been wearing gray and I'm not sure if that is a sign or what but I guess take it as you will I'm just gonna take it as me heckin loving gray I guess I don't know April I bought a lot of shit so we're gonna talk about it and that's it <laughs> I'm also gonna say that if I went in order of when I got these things I'm not sure I'd be able to because I don't know what order I got these things in so we're gonna go in order of thing the first things I want to talk about of course are books because books are great yeah I got three books from the Barnes and Noble in Boulder, which is like an hour from here, when my parent took me on a trip for about a week, almost a week, it was almost a week. I got a couple things and I got these three books. Uh, this is Mind Platter, it is a poetry collection. I'm currently reading it. Um, I also got the first volume of The Case Study of the Nudas. This is a manga series and I read it the day I got it, so. And it should be in my books I read series. You'll see what I'm talking about if the video is up. And then I also got the Complete Tales and Poems of Edgar Allan Poe. This wasn't even $8, guys. Of course I had to get it. Like, yes, please. So I'm really pleased and excited to start that. And then the last book I got this month is The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger. We've been talking about buddy reading a book since February and we couldn't figure out what we wanted to buddy read. And we went through a list of classics we were interested, we were both interested in reading and this was one. And so we were like, okay, let's get it. And so I got it off of Amazon. It came in today and I'm excited, Anthony, we get to buddy read this, yay. Okay, so I guess the next couple things I'm gonna talk about are like, uh, I guess they're more like stationary. Not really sure what else to call them. Notebooks, things with paper. How about that? The things with paper section that don't already have words on them. <laughs> that was creative, I know, it, it's okay. So the first thing I'm going to share is I got this bullet journal. This was the reason I walked in Barnes & Noble because I figured they had a bullet journal for me. It was 12 bucks. I am hella pleased. Um, it's got that nice dotted grid, which you may or may not be able to see. Okay, I think you can see now. But it's got that nice dotted grid. This is what I'm looking for, and I'm going to start it in May. I'm very excited for May, if only that I get to start this. Um, so this was the reason I walked in Barnes & Noble, and then I walked away with three books. So, pretty good deal, I think. This notebook was given to me. It's actually really, really pretty. I don't like the title in the front. I don't know why that was necessary, but it's fine. Um, and inside, I have been writing song lyrics and or quotes from that I have found and or discovered or heard in 2018. Because I didn't do it last year. I had a lot of awesome like quotes and like songs that I listened to last year and I never got to write down like my favorite song lyrics and or like some cool quotes I heard people say. So this year I'm writing them all down in this notebook. Um, I like it because it's long. It's a long boy. <laughs> Unlike me, I'm a short boy. It's, it's a long boy. Um, so I can like have a lot of space to write it down. And as you can tell, like with here, it didn't fill up the whole page, but that's okay. Rather, where's one that did fill up the whole page? Uh, it's because I like the whole song, but like, um, where's an example of like, Here's a quote that filled up the whole page. Um, here's one where almost all the song lyrics fill up the whole page. You see what I mean? Like, and this is great for me to reflect back to because I'm starting to make more typographies. And so I can just return to this and be like, okay, I want to pull from this song. And I go and I search for it in here. And then I have the lyrics that I wanted to use for the typography. So, fun times. Okay. This is just a regular... Um, notepad 
I really like these notepads because you can like tear the pages off, but I also hate it because then if you start writing and like all the pages go together, they all tear off into separate pieces and it's kind of hard to, again, keep together. But I do like this style of notepad, so I got one of these because it's only like a dollar. Um, I went ahead and started writing poetry on it. <laughs> As you can tell, and that one has fallen off. But So then the next thing is not very exciting, but for me it is. I got three packs of loose leaf paper because I have been needing this for a while. I realized when I moved, I didn't bring any loose leaf paper with me, which is a crime because I need loose leaf paper to just write on and to have and, and, to, and because I need it. So I got these for like some sort of sense each. And then the last thing I got that's paper that's, I don't even remember what I called this section. Anyways, that, this section. Um, is this notebook. This is going to be my new art journal slash personal journal. I don't think I've really talked about it or posted many pictures anywhere, but I started journaling in January, like the last couple days of January, and I have just a couple pages left that are going to finish up this month, so I was like, I need a new journal for that, and I didn't really have one. So, it just got blank paper, but it bends really well, and I like this. Also, there were different color options, and it was either black or green, but because I have a black bullet journal, I just decided to get the green cover. So, there's that. I'll talk about clothes next. Um, first thing I'm going to talk about, this was gifted to me by the parent because she didn't want any more, so I was like, I guess, because I don't have a lot of clothes. <laughs> I'm not a clothes person. Um, I really need to get more clothes, but I can't afford it, so it's fine. Um, can you see? It says Boulder, Colorado. And that's all it is. And it's really pretty. And I could have worn it for this video, but I didn't think about it. And that's okay. Um, so the next two pieces of clothing that I got this month, I had a job interview that I did not get the job, so don't get excited for me. Um, I had a job interview and I realized I didn't have anything to wear. <laughs> um, and I panicked because I do have like these fancy sort of slacks that I got, but like it wasn't a kind of job that I needed to wear those fancy slacks to, like I would have been very overdressed, but it, um, I didn't need to wear those fancy slacks. So I ended up getting some fancy shoes. They were like 50% off, I think. Um, they were like 20 bucks or something. Um, and they're really nice. I got them from Fitness Footwear, I think. If they were in the clearance section, I would never have gone to the regular price section. I cannot afford that right now. And I'm probably only going to wear those for interviews, and that's it. <laughs> that's why I don't have a lot of shoes. I, and then the last thing I got was I got these jeans. I'm just going to do this for a minute so you can see. Yeah, I'm going to fold because this couch is weird. But yeah. So I got those for the interview. Um, and like I said, I didn't get the job, so don't get excited for me. <laughs> I was really excited and then I didn't get the job so I'm like tired of being excited about jobs so now I'm just like not gonna be excited because then when I get the job I'll be excited and this this next section is food but really it's just tea so the next section is tea I got this I've already had like some of this a lot of this um, this is iced green tea with citrus but you stick it in like hot tea I, I assume you can stick it into cool water and just let it um, sit and strain and then you take it out and you can have it ice cold but I make it hot because I prefer hot tea over cold tea depending on what kind of tea it is um, but I really like green tea and I like citrus green tea and that is not in the center here this is center yeah so Pure Leaf is actually a really good brand if you like iced tea or if you like cold tea I would recommend Pure Leaf they make some really cool um, teas and I really love them a lot and then the next two teas I have, I got from a tea house, again, in Boulder. Um, this one is called Tung Ting. Yeah, this one's called Tung Ting, and this is an oolong tea. I actually got three, but I mailed one of them to one of my friends, because <laughs> I just wanted to. I was like, I'll just, I'll just mail it to you. So, I mailed it to her, um... 
And that one was a four season jasmine tea. Basically they just pick jasmine in all four seasons and they stick it into the tea and make it an oolong tea, which is like, it was really good. I had it at the tea house um, and I would recommend it. But this is tongue ting. I don't know what's in it because it doesn't say, but it tastes really good and I've liked it. And then this one is Rocky Mountain Mint. I decided to get it because it said Rocky Mountain Mint and I went to the Rocky Mountains and I loved them. So obviously I love the mountains. Like, there was a no-brainer that I wasn't going to love it. But I was like, if this reminds me of the Rocky Mountains, then I have to get it. Also, it's mint, and it's big. And I've been trying to get my roommates to drink tea, so I hope, because they both like mint tea, they both told me they do, I can get them to try this. And then maybe I can convince them to drive me back down. <laughs> we'll go down to Boulder for, like, a weekend or something, and we can have some tea at the tea house. Anyways, okay. I think that's it. Oh, wait. I still got this. So, like I said, I got the uh, Catcher in the Rye plus these other two things. Got my things. That was loud. Um, so I got this. This is something I saw in a video by Cheyenne Barton. I don't know if you guys know who that is. She used to go by the name on Tumblr and on Instagram. She probably might, she might still go by the name on Tumblr, but on Instagram she used to go by Study Rose. She has a YouTube channel, and one of her vlogmas videos she had this and she left a link in her video and i've had this in my want list ever since and i thought that since i moved i would get it for myself it was a treat i deserved it i have had not so great months this year i haven't enjoyed 2018 that much so i decided to treat myself and Sorry, there was someone. I thought the roommate was home. Let me finish. Um, I think I can possibly use this to film Plan With Me's and like other like facing down on the desk, me doing art stuff kind of videos. So I guess we'll see if it doesn't work out. I'll try something else. But I just thought I'd give it a go and it'd be also cool to just hold my phone up while I'm working on the computer. So Something cool, I guess. We will see how it works. I don't know. I'm interested. And then, so, this isn't exactly noise canceling, but I thought it was close enough. So I got school pay. So. The end. That's, that's my haul. Did I get everything? I think I did. I got some pens, but they're pretty boring and you guys wouldn't be interested, like, with the loose leaf note, note, note paper, notebook paper. I can't talk. This video is already fucking long. Um, I'm done, so I don't have an outro. Uh, namaste. Bye.